Hello guys, I'm making this video for a quick update of what I'm doing because I haven't been putting out many videos lately. The last video I put out, which will be somewhere here or something, uh, uh, whatever the hell it was called, Trolling Little Kids on Zombies, that was pretty fun. The problem being like that is, and I know most of you are going to start complaining, I can't hear the sound, Alex, I can't. Well, I know, and if you watch through the video, sorry for a long intro by the way, that got messed up. If you watch through the video, I do fix it so that you can hear the people better about two minutes, uh, one to two minutes in. But I since have since I recorded that video, I did find a better way to record the chat and even gameplay. Because most of you know from my previous videos, I used to use a Blackmagic Intensity Pro PCIe HDMI capture card, which was a piece of shit. The only way you could get that to work is if you bought one of Blackmagic's pre-approved HP desktop machines. If you don't know, HP has stopped making desktop machines because they suck. They have. So if you see any commercial for HP crap, don't buy it unless it's a printer. And I'm not even sure how good tech support will be with that, but I know for a fact they will be Indian and not very helpful or able to speak English. Anyway, in this video I'm going to show you how to record the gameplay, I guess. I'll show you what I got now. It works a lot simpler, it's not complicated at all set up. And I'll also show you how I recorded the new chat. And to clear up another thing, no, I did not get an HD camera. I did get an iPhone, which is what I'm using now to record, plus a little thing called a glyph, which is a tripod mount for it. But I don't like what it's doing right now. It's messing up my skin on the back of my phone, which I'm going to have to fix. Get mad at that. But anyway, let's go transition to that. So what you see here is something with a name that I can't pronounce, but it's what I use to record my gameplay. I'll try to pronounce it. Hapauge. Hapapauge. Something like that. It's right there. Anyway. See, it's very it's not HDMI, but it is HD. It's uh, got basically the simplest name ever, HD PVR. It runs about two hundred dollars. It's the same as the Black Magic, but this one actually works. And you've got three ways to record video. You got S video, regular composite, and on the back, HD component. And it's very simple how this one works. You take the input on the bottom, which is your, you know, all those good green, blue, red HD composite cables from your Xbox. And then on the top, with the provided composite cables, you set component. Sorry, you put that to your TV, which is over there. Holy crap! A new TV, Alex. Yeah. And this one interfaces with your computer through USB, and it has its own individual AC power. And it's plugged into my computer right there. And it's very simple to work. You actually do no work through here. All you have to do is turn it on there. And then when it's recording, that blue light on the top stays on, and you got a little red light over here, so you know it's recording. Now let's switch over to what it looks like on the computer. So once you turn your computer on, I mean Xbox on, once you turn your Xbox on, you go to your computer, and you open up the uh, drivers you install with it, and you get this menu, which is kind of useless, because I'd never use any of these things, but you go, you go to record, then hit record, and it opens this, which is the actual interface for the device. And right now it's blank, but it has detected the PVR right here. And it's got, it's very easy how to set this thing up. All you have to do is click on your presets right here. It actually has PlayStation 3, AVC HD, whatever that means, and Xbox 360. Now, when you select one of those, it just gives you a predetermined frame rate resolutions, etc. So if you actually go turn on your Xbox, you get your video. 
Now, I wouldn't recommend actually playing on your Xbox and just watching on your computer, because there's a good one and a half second lag between what you'll see on your TV and what you'll see on the computer screen. You'll see that. And you'll see it is 1080p right here. And then if you want to record something, first you uh, select your format as M2 M2 TS, don't want that as TS, and then MP4. I recommend MP4 because that's the only one I know what it is. And then you select wherever you want to save. And the good thing about this is it's very compressed, unlike the Blackmagic Intensity Pro HDMI PCIe capture card, where that would take up a gigabyte a minute. This only takes a couple megabytes a minute. About. So then you select wherever you want to save it, and then you hit capture. And when you hit capture, the thing turns blue. And then the stop capture, you hit stop, the thing goes off from blue. And then you go to wherever you tell it to be saved, you catch close that. I have a little shortcut folder here from where it goes. And you can watch your video. As simple as that. On to the chat recording. Recording chat's kind of easy because it's not at all software done. Well, just a little bit. Very little is done over software through your computer. The majority of it is done through adapters and such. So, you're going to need a variety of adapters for size of your controller. Optional or not, where you want to smash it on the ground and break it. Well, it still works, but that's my controller. So, the first thing you're going to need is a 2.5 millimeter Y splitter adapter. Now, stereo. Now, what this does, 2.5, also known as like the phone, what most phones used before they started using 3.5, like for an iPhone headset. This. You see a difference. This is uh, for an iPhone, which is a 3.5. It's also a standard headphone jack. This is a 2.5. You can see the difference. So, what you're going to first need to do, plug that guy in there. And then I recommend taking a rubber band and putting that, oops, if you can get it over there on top of that. Because this will fall out if you leave it just hanging there. Because you're going you're to be putting a lot of weight on this, so you want to have it secure so it won't fall out. And then the second thing you'll do, you need another adapter. A 2.5 stereo to 3.5 stereo adapter. Now, you're going to plug that in your splitter. And then you need a double ended 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. Doesn't matter the length, I recommend this must be 5 feet or so. Cable. And that goes into the adapter there. So already we've added about a pound of weight onto the back of the controller, so if you didn't have the rubber band, it's going to fall off by now. But then, here's the cool part. You can actually still talk. This is why we got the splitter. If you don't want to have to talk or you don't feel like spending seven bucks for the splitter, which it is a little expensive for a little splitter, you can just unplug your headphones. Actually, no. You're just going to not be able to talk. But here's your headset plug for your Xbox that goes right in there and then you can talk and hear and as well as record you talking as well as people hearing you then you're gonna need an application to record the audio on your computer such as audacity which I'll leave a link and I'll show you how to do that now audacity is really simple it's only in beta for Windows 7 right now as I see but it's really simple, all you do is you open it up, you plug your microphone into your microphone jack, input, audio input, whatever. And start monitoring. So this is hearing me right now. And th since um, everything in the headset's really mono, because you know you're only getting one speaker and only one input for the microphone, 
So your left and right are really going to act as your microphone and headset speaker for the whole headset. Oh, I have some other ones recorded. I'll show you. Here's some chat I record from Left 4 Dead. Alright, so I already figured this out. Left is you, right is them. Really, in talking perspective. Uh, the end glitch. But the end glitch is an end glitch for this one too? No, nah, there is one. one, one, one. Actually, no, there is. By the way, the echo you hear is from them, not me. Anyway, that's how it works. And once I splice this video together, it actually look like it's a video. But that's how to record it. So simple as it is. There you go. I'll provide links, etc., and you'll figure out how to do this.